the Honourable Chief Minister's vision for education and culture in the state and uh, are delighted to see the growth of a festival that he created when he was Tourism Minister. So we are, over the last two years, Dr Chakrabarty and I have been building relationships with all eight states and over the next two weeks we expect to sign a new agreement with the North Eastern Council that will be the start of our engagement in teacher training in, in all eight states. Um, we, we've been training a million teachers in government schools in the last 10 years and we're going to use that expertise to have uh, bespoke programmes in each, in each state. Um, the other thing that we're doing in our 70th year uh, is, is a big investment in, in uh, women in India. So we've, we've uh, launched our largest scholarship program for women uh, scientists, so women in STEM, science, technology, engineering, maths, and we invested uh, um, 18 crore rupees, I think, 1.8 uh, yeah. million pounds uh, to, in 105 scholarships for 105 incredible women to study masters scholarships at 44 British universities this year uh, in, in brilliant subjects, cyber security, data forensics, through to uh, oncology via engineering uh, at, at universities all over Britain uh, and they are both our 70th anniversary scholars and I hope uh, an exact um, representation of what we want the British-India relationship to be over the next 70 years. They're going to be ambassadors for the relationship that we want to build. They, uh, in addition, show that there are no parts of the economy that women will not be part of and leading in the next 70 years, and that there are no subjects that women won't be studying in the next 70 years. And we're really proud of them and really inspired by them and excited <coughs> that they are on their way to India. Six of them are from this Six of them are from the East and North East, not enough are from the East and North East, not enough young people are taking up opportunities to study in the UK and we hope that as part of this visit and our work at Zero, we will be promoting studying in the UK but also promoting the scholarship schemes that Britain runs and British universities run for students from India. So there are about 500, I think, scholarship opportunities each year that are widely advertised, and you can see them on uh, many of them on the British Council website. Um, even more importantly, uh, British universities invested more than £13 million pounds last year in scholarships for Indian students. So, British universities themselves invested £13 million pounds in scholarships for uh, students from India. So we really want students from the North East, if they're thinking about studying overseas, to get to the British Council website, to look at British universities and realise that there are opportunities for scholarships uh, if, if they are thinking about the UK. Uh, and I hope that over the next few years we will see the numbers of students from Arunachal and the North East really going up and those are winning scholarships going up too. Saying that we uh, we love working in this part of India, we think there's a huge potential to connect with young people here, to help teachers here, uh, to work with state governments like the Honourable Chief Minister who have an ambitious vision for their state, and we really like being here, and we really like uh, connecting with the artists, with young people, with teachers, and we feel that um, there is an opportunity to do more. And we had a great meeting with the Honourable Chief Minister today in which we uh, talked about this interest in education. We, we said we we're really pleased that we were able to respond to his request to bring a British artist to zero. Mm -hmm. um, um, we, we have a lovely partnership with ING Reliance as, uh, and their work on sport and their work on fashion. Uh, and on sport, we are bringing the English Premier League to the East and North East, Dr. Shakhbarti has been at the forefront of the power of football to uh, connect people and uh, we know that many of India's great footballers come from this part of the world. Uh, so we've been bringing a project that we call Premier Skills which uses sport and English to uh, improve the lives of young people and we, and we train football coaches to train coaches around 
uh, around the country. So they had a big training program at that time.